guys and welcome to today's video from my first solo travel ever. I'm in Edinburgh in Scotland and I'm so excited. I just got in last night a little past midnight so I haven't seen anything yet and it's 10 in the morning now so I think I'm gonna get going. I'm staying in this cutesy little apartment and see how Scottish it looks outside. Oh, you can't see anything, can you? See, there, see how Scottish it looks outside my window. Oh my god, I've wanted to visit Scotland for so long and now, finally doing it. Let's go! I am ready and dressed for Scotland. It's actually not raining right now. How cute is this? Oh my goodness! How Scottish is this? I'm so touristy. So I've been walking around for like three minutes and I'm on my way into the city. And uh, there's this guy who comes up to me and says, Sorry, can I ask you where Haymarket Station is? And I'm like, I have no idea, I'm not from here. But then, I do this, and I'm like, but it's right there. So I just helped someone. In the city I've been in for like two minutes. It's great. I think I'm gonna like it here. I've literally been walking around for 15 minutes, and I'm already so in love with Scotland. It is just, oh, it is amazing. And everything looks so Scottish, and I know it sounds so stupid when I say that, but don't you know the feeling when you get to a new place and it just looks like all your fantasies about that place? And see, up here, up where, up there, is Edinburgh Castle. And for now, I'm just walking around. I'm not looking at the map, I'm just walking. And it's amazing. Oh, I'm so glad I did this. So apparently next to Edinburgh Castle, there is a parish church of St. Cuthbert. All welcome, so I'm gonna walk in here. Oh my god! How amazing is this? This place is absolutely beautiful, and there is no one here. Weird. Well, it's a Monday morning, so I guess it's not that weird. It's so beautiful, and you have the castle up here. I don't know if you can see it, or if I'll have to carry you. I have to carry you. See? I have Edinburgh Castle up here, and then the cemetery down here. This place is beautiful, and it is so quiet. And I was just walking around thinking, like, oh, how amazing that. It's muddy and rainy and I've never thought that in my entire life, but I think it's just something about being in Scotland. It feels more real if the weather is not amazing. As long as it's not raining, it's actually kind of perfect because everything looks exactly as it's supposed to. I don't know if that sounds really, really stupid, but I don't know. Can you follow? Can you follow me? Let's see, here's a church. So beautiful. A lot of the tombstones here are really old. They look from like 1849, 1825. But I think I saw some over here that are from like 1770 or something. It's like Outlander times. Please tell me you've read or watched Outlander. Oh my god, I love that show. Oh, it wasn't from 1770. He was born in 1770. It's also a while ago. Check these out. They are huge. It's a little bit like walking around on a film set. It is so beautiful and so surreal. I really, really like it. See what I mean? This is right in the center of the city, Great Friars or something. Oh, pretty. Let me eat, which looks really, really nice and very, very affordable. Um, but I also want to check out. But I also want to check out this place. 
called Hula, which is in like one of the old streets and it's right over here. So I'm just gonna check it out. alone in a restaurant. I chose to go to the place called Let Me Eat because they had this roasted aubergine panina that looked amazing, which it was, so that was a good choice. I really want to go swing by the hula place one of the days maybe. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to go find, try to find <laughs> the shopping area because I need an SD card for my other camera to take some pictures and uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna swing by the Writers Museum on the way there. It's a small free museum that I really would like to see. It's like, it's like three uh, famous Scottish writers. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. magical it is wow so <laughs> the thing about traveling by myself is that getting those Instagram photos is not easy but I think I managed to get one here I really wanted to get one from the other end but everyone was standing there and I didn't really have a place to put my tripod but I think I found a place here well, <laughs> a trash can but you know whatever works so I'm gonna insert it right here my first solo <laughs> travel Instagram picture oh but check this out Oh, the bus. The National Library of Scotland. I want to see what that is about. So the main exhibition was temporarily closed. So I finally found the Writers Museum. Looks like it's open. Robert Louis Stevenson, I think we have some burns and something. Let's go and check it out. Let's go down here. So that was uh, Robert Louis Stevenson, and upstairs we have uh, Robert Burns and Sir Walter Scott. So I'm going to check that out as well. It's a tiny little museum, but it's quite nice. in the Primark trap in Scotland is very cold which is why I'm looking like this it's actually not very cold it's like eight degrees but I'm just always very cold now it is uh, about eight in the evening and I'm going to go out and get some food and maybe a beer if I can find a pub that I like I've never gone out to eat all by myself before so uh, I think it's a little bit weird and I think that's it's probably also why it's eight because I can't really, uh, can't really push myself out the door. But now, now I'm trying. I found this cool little Greek place that looks really nice and that has some vegan options. So I'm gonna go there and then maybe I will film. Maybe I will not. Let's see. Oh yeah. 
Fireball? Fireball. What is Fireball? You'll find out. I will find out? In two minutes. What is Fireball? It's a... Uh, it's, it's really nice. Yeah, it's a whiskey liqueur. It's actually John. It's the next morning and last night got a little out of control. Um, <laughs> there was a lot of beer. Um, there was this weird shot called a fireball which is like a cinnamon whiskey liqueur or something. And uh, apparently I went, it was like a, a white Russian bar so there was a sore white Russian. Uh, it was a fun night and I was home at like one. but. I, Oh my god. I was uh, I was back at one already, but <laughs> I had a lot to drink, so I'm not feeling really good today. But I'm gonna end this video and go out and explore some more. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please, please, please give it a like if you enjoyed it and uh, subscribe. And in that case, I'll see you in my next video, which is gonna be from today in Edinburgh. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a rough day. <laughs> Bye.